The third British classic of the season is fast upon us. It's day one of a couple of brilliant days at Epsom and it is of course the Oaks which this year John Gosling looks a really quality renewal. Yeah it does. I think you've got an outstanding favourite. She probably was unlucky in the Guineas but having said that Winter who won the Guineas then demolished the, the, the Irish Guineas. So the Phillies are very very smart. So look it's, it's a top quality field. We, we run Enabled who won the Cheshire Oaks in great style. And uh, Coronet, who's been wanting a mile and a half for some time now, did well to come from last to third in the pre-San at Deauville. So we've got two nice fillies there. We're aware of the task ahead. And I think there are some other fine fillies in the race as well, both uh, the filly won the Pretty Polly and the filly that won the Newbury trial. Mm. I mean, there are five or six top, top draw fillies in this race, so a proper race. How do your two compare? Well, I, I think, uh, obviously, Enable, she's, she's, she's going to be close to the pace. She's that tight. She showed that at a chest to the other filly. It takes a little time, but you've got a long old run up the hill. She likes to warm into a race. Both of her wins last year, she was coming for virtually last. So that's her style of running. You don't go changing it. That's what she's best at, and it's quite a long straight at Epsom. Yeah? And Rhoda dendron has been a warm order ever since she chased down her stablemates in the Guineas and looks like she'll appreciate the extra half a mile. But you, you know, you never know, do you, till they've done it? And no, the, got to the mile and a half, so. you do have to stay because you climb 150 feet, you drop 150 feet and then you climb again at the finish. So you do have to stay unless they just go for a trot and a walk. But uh, to that extent, yeah, I mean, that's the one thing we don't know about her. What we do know about her is that she's a, a, a group one wing top filly as a two-year-old. Uh, and, 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 and a top draw this year. So I think to that extent, we're very aware we're up, we're up against it, but uh, someone's got to take on Aiden. They certainly do, and you're that man. Good luck. Thank you.